It's no shock that technology continues to evolve every single day. But not only technology, science is also taking leaps forward and we never would have thought it could be possible. When you look at how far science has come, sometimes it feels like we're living in an alternate universe where science fiction has come to life. But that's not the only thing that's coming to life when it comes to this list that we're presenting today. Because science has yet again taken another leap to prove that it's not just relegated to books, what is the work of real life? To be able to think that we can actually restore some of the damage that we've caused, bring some of these really key species back. So what exactly has science proven today? It's proven that not all animals that have gone extinct have now stayed extinct. Up next, 15 extinct animals being brought back to life. <coughs> Woolly Mammoth It walked the earth in prehistoric times and was one of the largest animals around. Imagine being able to know a T-Rex or a pterodactyl. Nowadays, you would have to see a fossil in a museum to understand the size of those animals. You would think that all these animals would be completely extinct today. But the one we're talking about right now is about to be brought back to life in ways that we couldn't even fathom years ago. We're talking about the woolly mammoth, the elephant of prehistoric times. If you've ever been curious to see what an animal was from that time, looks like this one is perfect for you. It was one film that had raised $15 million to bring back this woolly mammoth from extinction. The scientists had set their initial sights on creating the elephant-mammoth hybrid, which roamed the earth around 10,000 years ago. It was going to be a tough task, but given the fact that they found one frozen in the ice, they had a leg up. So now it's going to take some gene editing to bring the prospect of bringing a woolly mammoth back to life. And this will require taking skin cells from Asian elephants and reprogramming them into versatile stem cells. There's a lot of science that goes into it that we don't understand, but the overall consensus is that these scientists know what they're doing. We may have a woolly mammoth walk on Earth before we know it. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. When extinct animals are being brought back to life, it's bound to be a few that lead people to believe maybe they shouldn't be doing that. Because when it comes down to it, the science can be downright scary. We're not used to things that lived in the past. Sure, we see them in history books and museums, but it's not the same as seeing them in real life or in a photograph. It can be downright jarring. Take, for example, this photo, which is eerily in black and white while showcasing an animal that looks like it could take down a T-Rex. Crazy part about this photo is that it's the animal seems to be wounded or asleep. The people working on the animal seem to be scientists or doctors, but we can't be too sure. There's something very sinister about this photo that we can't put our fingers on. This is when science gets a little creepy and we want to keep an open mind. But because there isn't much to this photo and not a lot of information, the creepiness level is off the charts, so we don't really know anything about it, which leads us to ask the question, what do you think this photo belongs to? What's the animal that's lying on the ground? Let us know in the comments below with the hashtag missing topic and let your voice be heard. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Pyrenean Ibex When you heard that we were going to cover animals instead of being brought back to life, you probably instantly thought of the ones that you want to see brought back to life. It creates intrigue. You may want to see a dinosaur or some other long-lost mammal that you've always wanted to see roam the earth. That's a completely reasonable thing to think because we all have those curiosities and pieces of intrigue that keep us going, you know, our everyday lives. When we hear something like scientists and bringing animals back from the dead, that's a thought that we just weren't prepared for. But as much as we think about the animals that we want to see roaming the earth, there's also animals that you might not have heard about that are being brought back. And we have to cover those as well. Like this one called the Pyrenean Ibex. So these animals are mammals. They measure five feet at the shoulder. They usually weigh about 130 to 150 pounds. Their lifespan equates to around 16 years. They have a herbivore diet and they're currently extinct. But that could all change as scientists are now looking to clone this animal to bring it back to life. And they've been trying to do this since 2009. The way that we were able to start cloning it is by collecting skin cells from an old sample. And it worked, but the clone died right after birth. So they're going to have to try again. But the last attempt got close, and that's all that matters. 
ice worms. If you liked our last one because it was something that you might not have heard about, then you're definitely going to love this next one on our list because it takes minuscule animals to a whole different level. It's nothing cooler than taking those small animals that you might not have considered and putting it into a climate where maybe polar bears will like to hang out. As you can tell, we're keeping this list interesting by bringing you animals that don't seem like they should exist in the first place, or bringing animals that sound like they belong in a Dr. Seuss book, with how off the wall they are in characteristics. So with that being said, and without further ado, let's move on to the ice worms. These worms were recently resurrected within the Russian permafrost, or so that's being told. There are some skeptics to this story. The claim comes from the fact that it's being said that nematodes have been found preserved in the Arctic permafrost for around 40,000 years, and supposedly they have come back to life and have been defrosted by researchers. No one's proven this list to be true, but if they were able to, it would be an astonishing discovery, to say the least because that would make it one of Earth's oldest living animals coming out of cryogenic preservation. We do still wonder if Walt Disney froze himself, though. <laughs> Thylacine Sometimes there are animals that you don't think that you know about just because their name sounds a little funky, but when you see them, they look oddly familiar. That's because there are plenty of animals that go by these scientific names, rather than the names that we're used to. Maybe even scientific names aren't the right categorization, in any case, we want to bring you an animal called thylacine. It dates back a long time, and it's just now being brought back to life by scientists who think that it needs to roam the earth again. There might already be too many different types of tigers in the world, but maybe we're wrong about that. That's where you come into play with an opinion. Let's get into it. This animal likely went extinct in the late 1990s or even in the early 2000s. People don't know if it's technically extinct, as it could be roaming remote parts of the world, there have been over 1,200 records of sightings and physical evidence to where these animals used to live, and given the fact that they were once thought to be extinct, now Australian authorities are saying that they found a footprint of this animal around 2019. That would mean technically in this record book these animals came back to life, and that would be pretty cool because they seem like interesting animals. But given the fact that there's been no photos taken with little evidence, we're not too sure if we can trust these claims. <laughs> Ooh. Woolly Rhino So we've already covered the woolly mammoth and started our list off with that because it's one of the most popular animals to be brought back to life. There's something about a woolly mammoth that's just endearing. Maybe because it has that elephant and fuzzy quality, then when we look for animals to be friendly, we look at those. Because sure, elephants are huge and can do a lot of damage, but at the end of the day, they're creatures that are highly intelligent and can form bonds. But unfortunately, we have to move on from the elephant category to the rhino category. But the good news is we're going to keep the woolly category in the play as scientists are bringing back the woolly rhino. It all came from a rhino that researchers found perfectly preserved from the Pleistocene era. It was one of the best preserved extinct rhinos that had lived from the Yakusha at least 20,000 years ago. It even had its brain intact. This specimen was found in August 2020 and as you can see, it was found with a full coat of thick hazel colored hair. All its teeth are there as well. Who found this crazy find? It was discovered by a group of mammoth tusk hunters in the permafrost deposits. It seems as though the researchers are going to do their best to take specimens from this find and try to recreate the rhino so they can live in our time. It just goes to show you that science is one crazy area of life. We can't wait to see this animal roaming the streets. <laughs> Saber-toothed tiger. We've already gone in depth with a lot of woolly animals. They feel like they're the most fun to talk about because they're just so fluffy. Who doesn't like to see an animal that they're used to but covered in fur that makes them look like Snuffleupagus? It's an awesome thing that history can provide for us, but we can catch a stop there. When it comes to prehistoric animals, the woolly ones are not the only ones making an appearance. Scientists are also looking to bring back the saber-toothed tiger. We know that this is a favorite among kids and those who love fossils. So let's take a look at how this one come about. On the other end of the spectrum, if you're afraid of giant teeth, this one might not be for you. So what happened with tigers is that scientists have now mapped the DNA of this historic beast. This is important because now we can see its lifestyle for the first time. Now obviously back then it wasn't going to Starbucks, but it did have some interesting social behaviors when it lived, 
What scientists learned was that it had great bone growth and cardiovascular abilities. They were great at endurance running. They could hunt until their prey got tired. Now that's a pretty cool animal. We're kind of lucky if that's a limit today because it probably would have eaten us. Quagga. We move on to yet another animal that you may not be acquainted with. Because after all, scientists can't just bring back the popular animals, they have to bring back other ones for different reasons, reasons that we might need to learn more about to understand. And that's okay because the world of science is vast and filled with a lot of different perspectives and reasonings. It's always interesting why scientists do what they do, and it's no exception with this next animal called the quagga. Yeah, that's its actual name. We didn't make it up. You may not have heard about it, but that's why we're here and we're going to do a deep dive for you. By the end, you may actually want the animal to come back to life. We sure hope so. So what this is is a variety of zebras. They say it went extinct because of ruthless hunting. Scientists today are hoping to one day bring this animal back from extinction and it'll take a lot of DNA finagling to do so. But we'll be there for when it happens. Orak. Here's another animal on our list that you might not be too familiar with, but you may also be familiar with it because it's not the most popular animal in the world, but it's still pretty well known. We know that it fills the history books and has kept scientists on their toes for years trying to learn more about them. Now they're one step closer to bringing them back and making them a part of reality once more. It just goes to show you that what it is in the past doesn't necessarily have to stay in the past and we like it like that because it gives us more reasons to do these lists. So let's take a look at what's called the auroch. They're an animal that's going to be brought back to help the environment. These animals are considered super cattle. Think of them as beefed up cows because back in the day their domestication helped with agriculture. They helped by providing a lot of resources as well. For example, civilizations got a lot of meat, leather and dairy from them. So the good news is, is if they bring these back, it'll really help the environment. So here's the hoping they actually do. <laughs> Carolina Parakeet. We absolutely love taking our lists and then moving them in a different direction altogether. There's something about unpredictability that's pretty fun. It's nothing like keeping people on their toes while interested. And so how do we know that with a list that covers animals that are being brought back from the dead, and so how do we do that with a list that covers animals that are being brought back from the dead? Well, we move on from woolly mammoths and other crazy animals to something that's a little bit more reserved and an animal that you might have not even realized had been extinct in the first place. We're talking about a Carolina parakeet. It's definitely an obscure animal to say the least, but it's not obscure enough to avoid the intrigue of scientists who want to bring it back from the dead. So let's take a look at it and see what these scientists are doing with the Carolina parakeet. The crazy part about these birds is that they went extinct for unknown reasons. They seem like they were in healthy shape but then vanished from the earth in the mid 19th century. To this day, no one quite knows what happened and now these colorful birds are being brought back to life through science and interesting engineering. Will the scientists be able to pull them off? We hope so but we also have a feeling that they might disappear from the only reasons all over again. <laughs> Cave Lion We love lists like these because we always come across an animal that doesn't sound like it should be real. And then on the other end of the spectrum, it kind of sounds like the animal should be terrifying at first glance. And we're pretty sure that's how this next one is going to go. As the name alone can kind of put fear into anyone who hears it. Have you ever heard of a cave lion? If lions weren't scary enough, now just imagine one being in a cave that you just stumbled upon. Let's just say it's spooky. They lived around 44,000 years ago and they were recently found in a remote part of the world. Scientists are now hoping to bring them back to life. It was two sibling cubs that were found side by side in the area. These animals have starved to death, but they were found nearly perfectly preserved. You can make out their face and the quality of their fur. Sadly, their positioning kind of resembles roadkill, but either way, it's an awesome find for science. <laughs> Irish Elk Remember when we said that there are just some of this list? Remember when we said that there are just some things on this list that you're probably not going to believe exist in general? Well, we move on to the animal category of elk. Maybe you know a lot about it, or maybe you don't know much at all. 
We know what they look like and that's pretty much the extent of how much we know about elk. But did you know that there's more than one variety of them? Just like moose or geese, you don't often think that there's a different breed of them. But with elk, there are and there are some that are actually extinct which are being brought back to life. In this case, it's the Irish elk. Who knew? Let's learn about it. They were said to be the world's largest elk, and now they might be brought back to life. The act of cloning may still be in its infancy, but scientists are hopeful that they can bring this one animal back from the dead. It died during the Ice Age and went extinct. Its antlers alone measure 12 feet across, so that's a pretty big animal that we would love to see back at it again. Here's hoping that that cloning works. <laughs> Beji River Dolphin Moving on to other animals that you probably didn't think had a different breed out there, we move on to dolphins. There's actually more than one type of dolphin. That might be common knowledge thanks to places like SeaWorld and the various aquariums all over the world. But did you know there's one that's called the Beji River Dolphin? You probably haven't heard about it because it's extinct. Thanks to a few people in this world that might all change. Let's explain. This is one of those cases where an animal would start to be extinct but might actually still be alive because this specific dolphin was spotted by a diver, or so the diver says. It was declared extinct 10 years ago, but that may not be the case. The divers say they were spotted swimming off the coast of Wuhu, and if they're not lying, then we have one less mammal in the ocean that's extinct. We'll have to wait and see if any photo evidence comes to fruition, but until then, we do hope that they're telling the truth. <laughs> Passenger Pigeon we take these next animals for granted almost because we see them almost everywhere. We can't really go one day without seeing one. You know what we're talking about? We're talking about pigeons. If you're in New York, they're practically family. They fly around the world with confidence and make themselves a home pretty much anywhere. When you look at them, they feel like an animal that's been around forever. And that's kind of because they have been. But different breeds, of course. One of these breeds that went extinct was the passenger pigeon, but they're making a comeback. Huia. How do we take a trip back to the lesser known animals on this list, which aren't as popular as the rest? This seems to be common with the bird category, and this next one is pretty cool for its abilities. Because how often do you come across a bird that can sing? That's right, this next bird is pretty talented. It used to be able to sing from the branches, and it might be able to do so again if these scientists can bring it back. They used to coexist with velociraptors along the Canterbury Plains, or so rumor has it. This bird is pretty extraordinary, and it's called the Huia. The only problem with bringing back this bird would be the problem of adapting to current animals. They weren't great animals that could survive back in the day, meaning that when they met the animals that we have in today's world, they might go extinct all over again. But only time will tell what science is able to pull off with these wondrous animals. <laughs> Dodo. And last but not least, we end this list with another bird, the dodo bird. This one is awesome because there has been so many people throughout history who have mentioned the dodo bird. They mostly do this because of the funny name, but now it could be a reality that it's coming back and we could all be talking about it a lot more. Who doesn't love an excuse to say dodo bird a million times? As elusive as it is, scientists believe they can bring it back from the dead. It left the world around the 17th century, a mere 100 years afterward even being discovered. The way that they would be able to bring back the dodo bird is by using the genetic information that they've discovered recently. If they can pull that off, they can bring the dodo bird back to our world. Would it be able to survive? We're not too sure, but it would be something that we'd have to keep a close eye on. And of course, when that does happen, we'll bring the news right to you. And there you have it. Science is an amazing thing when put to good use. Gone are the days when we have to worry about animals going extinct in one way or another because scientists are on the case and making them live again. We'll be here to bring you all the animals that they want to bring back in the future because we have a feeling there'll be more. <laughs>